Hi everybody, it's Fibo Group, and you are watching to the Market Watch review. This weekend, new and bold sanctions against Russia were announced. Russia responded by increasing its readiness for nuclear war. The risk on that was seen before the weekend has been reversed. Asia Pacific equities traded higher, except for Hong Kong and Singapore. The stock 600 has fallen by 1.6%, mainly due to the energy and financial sectors. U.S. futures are 1.3% lower. The dollar is stable in the foreign exchange market. However, the Swiss franc and Japanese yen are among the most resilient of the major currencies. As one would expect, oil and gold rallied, but not to the same extent as last week's highs. Gold fell to $1930 in the European morning, before stabilizing to stay above the 1900 level. The April WTI gained almost $100, but has remained steady at $96. Asian Pacific Market Japan's economic data confirmed the market's expectations. A weak start to the new year has been caused by social restrictions and the virus. Retail sales dropped for the second consecutive January. Initial drop in dollar to JPY 114.90, but it recovered to trade just a few pips higher than the pre-weekend high of 115.75. The Australian dollar is still in its pre-weekend range. It is currently testing the dollar 0 0.7200 area at midday in Europe. Tomorrow morning, the Reserve Bank of Australia will meet in Sydney. Market of Europe Russia's economy will be severely affected by the combination of exclusion of most Russian banks from SWIFT, sanctioning large Russian banks and targeting Russia's central banks. Russia's economy responded quickly. The daily limit was reached and the ruble fell 8% at the Moscow exchange open. It is believed that the central bank intervened. The central bank raised its key rate from 9,5% to 20% and established capital controls. Dramatic military responses have also been shown. The most surprising decision was made by the German government to send weapons and fuel to Ukraine. In the initial sell-off, the euro dropped to nearly $1.1120 as traders reacted to weekend developments. In the beginning, sterling dropped to $1.3310. In the European morning, it has traded at almost $1.3390. Market of America the U.S. reports January advanced goods trade balance and inventory data. Also, the Dallas Fed's manufacturing survey. Friday's national jobs report is the highlight of the week. On March 16, the Federal Reserve's two-day meeting will come to an end. The chances of 50 BP have fallen sharply. Canada reports on the Q4 current balance balance and industrial-slash-raw materials prices. The U.S. dollar is in the range of CAD 1.269, 5 to 1.2820 at the Canadian border. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.